Day 34, stranded at sea. Hands, cold. Lips, chapped. Hotel, Trivago. All right, good morning. Welcome back to Jordy Naomi. This is part two of our little cottage adventures. Um, it's really sunny today, but it's a little cold, so we're gonna go canoeing and what else are we gonna do i don't know but <laughs> coda's over there he's really mad because he wants to play right now and i'm just chilling and so let's go so we are starting our morning off on coda's walk okay and let's go coda i just put on a sweater it's a little cold. Alright, so we're just gonna walk to the dock. Speaker out here. We're just jamming to dirty dancing and grease and all that good stuff. Kayaking with that, but they are way over there because Corny doesn't know how to steer. <laughs> oh my goodness! A for effort, A for effort. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Hello. So, what's going on, guys? We're in the park. We are. Wow. Where? Oh. We are in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> this is a lake. Okay, a bay. concentrate bye guys I'm tired I'm tired I'm in the middle of nowhere and I'm tired see the land not that land right there no wait not there right there that's where I'm trying to go anyway welcome back to my YouTube channel I'm Jordi Naomi if you didn't know that and I'm, you know, lost at sea. But I look good. Yes, I look good. <sighs> okay, so the goal is the goal is to not tip over only because this water is frigid. It's frigid. All right, let's go. Let's go. I beat you, Daddy. That last uh five minutes i literally put my whole heart and soul into that really putting on my sweater because he's that cold that's motel rock that's a good quality sweater pal oh wow I see why you are on this thing. yeah look what we brought you daddy uh, they're so tasty good <laughs> good <laughs> there's the snake it looks so pretty. Look at that. See that, Coda? See that? You didn't like it, huh? See that, Coda? Oh. oh it moves so weird. Ew. Wait, so we just finished canoeing, and I'm like, oh, I'm like really good at it. It's because the exercise at the gym I do is canoeing the boat, and I never realized, <laughs> I it's like it never occurred to me, this is literally the action. And I'm like, Oh, there's this old lady out there. I'm gonna say what, Daddy? Seventy? Yeah, probably. Seventy, seventy-five. Kayaking. She's oh, doing she so good. Wow. She was doing so good. She was fast too. 
Here, she had the earphones in. Yeah. Old lady. Yeah. Yeah. Like, clearly so, she would need help walking, but she can kayak. Yeah. And of course, we were listening to Grease and Dirty Dancing. Mm -hmm. And. Na, 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 na. Yeah, till our speaker died. Yeah, it's so funny. All of our technology is just dying right now. Let's say hi to Coda. Look at him. Hi, baby. Hi. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You were tired? Oh, you were tired? Look at my big baby. Two days later. With mommy. <laughs> um, they're actually picking up snacks, but I just made a snack. So I'm gonna have two snacks. A cream cheese bagel with tomato bisque from last night. Oh, mommy, you can see them. Come, come, come. Look, there's my dog. <gasps> Hi, Koda. Let's see my poutine. I've got a snack. What on this is earth? A very large poutine. Oh my goodness. It's so much that I'm full. Oh my goodness. Koda, what do you have? Mmm, a carrot. And a little fry. Shh, our little secret. Look at this cheese. Oh, crazy. Look at the view from my parents' bedroom. Look at that. There's one up there too. Let's look at the lake. You guys just get to wake up and see that. He's sleeping. Mommy? Do you like your view? I do. Koda and I are gonna go get my sweater because I left it on the dock um, to dry. And then we're gonna get ice cream. So. Next stop, <laughs> Korda! What Sorry. flavor are you gonna get? Just see that Jordan. There um, you go. Last time I came, I got strawberry. Just one flavor? Yeah, but I, don't... I thought that I would talk about my exhibition on YouTube. Totally. So I, I've been working on a uh, photography exhibition. It's on January 2022. Mm -hmm. 22, yeah. Uh, January is Glaucoma Awareness Month, and my exhibition is to raise awareness for glaucoma. You can head over to the Instagram. I'll put it on the screen right here. It's called Eyes Open Exhibition, mm -hmm. and the website. I don't know if it's going to be launched the time you're watching this, but at least go to the Instagram page. I, edited old pictures that cause my parents traveled all over the world when we were younger mm -hmm. and I took those photos and I edited them in a way that you can get a glimpse of how people with glaucoma see the world and how would you know how people with glaucoma see the world I have glaucoma oh okay. <laughs> I do I have uh stage one so uh not that any stage is not to say that it's like better, but it's, I can still see, you know? I don't wanna like offend anybody. I don't wanna be like, I have stage one. No, some of the pieces are called glaucoma edits. And those are the ones that I edited. So you can see a little bit of how I see, or we can see your world. My world a little bit, little things here and there. They gave us an accidental wrong one. So we have extra. <laughs> here. Yes. Here, Jordan. It's, it's a big crack, so don't squeeze. A big crack, so don't squeeze too hard. Oh my ah! goodness. Wait, what did she say? I a was big wondering what? Why you guys had uh, six. Uh, Kora. Kora. They uh -huh. gave us an extra one. Oh, yes. Wait, guys. what's this flavor on top? Oh, on mine. Oh my goodness. That's exactly what I would want. On the bottom one. Is... I think this is strawberry. I have strawberry cream. with cookies and cream. Jamie. Very cream lemon. Oh, oh, Jamie loves lemon. her creamsicle. You tired, Koda? Yeah, you are. He's so big, guys. Look how big he is. So I'm just getting Koda's dinner out. He's having some duck and turkey organs and meat, and they're gonna combine it. This is what it looks like. All right, let's go. He knows, and he'll sit down. Good boy. We're having a late dinner. Who wants to tell them why? <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, so you know, Dad and I went to go and get some gas before the food because we were low on gas. A little emergency light. Fair, on, fair. You know, easy peasy. I put in a gas station, and I say, you know what? Let's be safe than sorry. So we went a little bit off route to the closer gas station. Right. It's close. It's only eight thirty. So then we said, okay, we'll go to the farther gas station that's on the way. Right. You know, we we have like 
30 kilometers left. This gas station is almost 20 kilometers away. Okay. So we get there. It's closed too. It's closed too. So we say, okay. <laughs> now we have to find a gas station because we don't have much gas. <laughs> and okay. it's dark. And then we find one more. We get there, lights are on. We're like, yes, we did it. We did it. Dad gets out of the car. Whoa, we only have three kilometers left. It's closed. So we go to Turtle Jacks, which is really close. And we say, yeah. hey, help, we need a gas station. Where's open? Wait, the said, Turtle Jacks where our food was? Yeah, we Okay. up the food. And yeah. said, oh, go to Canadian Tire. Canadian Tire? Race Bridge. Race Bridge is 22 kilometers away. Oh. We only have three kilometers left. So we say, okay, there's got to be a reserve, right? In the gas tank. So we just drive the reasonable speed limit on the AC. Goodness. We just drove. Then I called the gas station. I said, you're closed at nine, right? Can you wait till nine, please? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And then at 8.55. Got there at 8.55. Oh my goodness. The well, thank you. But we did get that. to see a very beautiful sunset. Okay, us. there you go. Yes, ma'am. Four cheese, Cajun chicken. What's that last word? Penne. Good morning, Coda. Good morning. What a good boy you were last night. Good morning, guys. I headed to the dock this morning because the geese and their babies headed on the water for the first time. Um, they're so cute. So there they are. There's two sets of parents and a bunch of babies. They're so cute. I wish I was on the water right now. The water is so pretty and calm today. Like, look at it. Every morning he goes and he just appreciates being alive again. Come on, let's go. Let's anyway, go. so we have the red leash, which means he can go look around the forest by himself. He doesn't get it though. He doesn't yeah, get it because we're not there. there yet. He's like, what are you doing? Yeah, so over there is the tennis courts. And then over here is the beach volleyball. And there's a bunch of picnic tables. So it's really cute. A bunch of sand. Coda loves sand. So this is what it looks like. And then the tennis courts are over there. He just loves it so much. We made a TikTok and it got like a million views. Here's the second lake and this one's the warm one. So this is the one you can swim in without freezing. And the trail continues over there. But first I'll show you the dock. Yeah. Isn't this the prettiest thing you've ever seen? water is actually warm here all right so i just took some videos for my eyes open instagram page there's coda being brave now we're gonna head into the trail so i was saying that like when you go snowmobiling you have to turn out like this onto the road and you have to really make sure no cars are coming because they don't come slow and that's the part that of snowmobiling gives me anxiety turning out but anyway we're heading back now he doesn't want to go I think his favorite place was uh, cross-country skiing because it was so cold and he loves the cold. Hi. Oh, oh my goodness. Ah. Hi guys, pit stop. So I think I'll end the vlog here. Um, we're heading back home now. So you're not gonna miss anything. And we're gonna unpack and everything. But thank you for watching. <laughs> and we'll be back with another video soon. So. And hopefully, we'll be back at the cottage soon for more videos. So.